In this video, I want to show you my five productivity tips to speed up your port developments in Power BI. We're going to go through them one by one with some examples so you can implement them as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So these tricks that I'm going to outline in this video are some of the tricks that I learned from different places, from YouTube videos to articles to other colleagues that helped me and made my life a lot easier when it comes to building Power BI reports. So I thought I'd compile them and share it to you guys so I can help you as well. So let's go through this first productivity tip that I have for you, which is in Power Query. So here we have an employees table, which uh, I've artificially blown up in terms of columns. So you'll see that, you know, as you scroll to the right, you'll see more and more columns that is in this uh, query. Now, let's say you are working with a lot more columns than this and you're trying to look for a specific column and you can't find it. Now, you know, how I used to do it is just to look at the columns and uh, slowly scroll through until I find it. Now, the more columns you have, the more difficult this becomes. However, did you know that there is a button that can actually help you find the right column that you want quite easily? So under view, you'll see a, a button here called go to columns. And what it will do is it will list you all the columns that you have in your data set or in your query. And you can scroll through here, which will, it makes it a lot easier, or you can even search for it. So let's say you wanted a, a specific uh, column that you wanted to, to find. So in here, all you need to do is you just need to type it. Um, once you've found the column that you want to highlight or go to, you select that, uh, that column and then you hit OK. What it will do is it will jump into that column highlighted in your view right here. So a coworker showed me this trick and it would have saved me a lot of time if I learned it a little bit earlier. So this is one that is uh, good to know. The next tip is detecting data types across multiple columns in your data set. So if we go back in this example here, you'll see that a lot of our columns sort of follow the exact same data types but we know from experience or just from looking on this that some of them needs to be, let's say numbers, like let's say the ID or uh, let's say the start date needs to be a date type. Now, what you can do is you can, you know, uh, manually do it one by one, change the, the types here. Um, however, if you have more columns that you need to do it with, it can take a bit of time. So what you can do, is instead highlight the columns or all the columns that you want to auto detect the types with. You hit uh, transform and then here you will find the button called detect data type. So Power BI will take the samples that are in these columns and automatically figure out what uh, data type it should have. So if we hit that, so you'll see that with a single click of a button, it changed things like uh, if we scroll to the left here, you'll see the ID is now a number type column. Uh, if we scroll to the right, you'll see this is now a date type column and so on and so on. And this example is probably not the best scenario to show the capabilities of the detect data type button because Power BI as a default enables the change type step every time you import data into your reports. However, as you start working and transforming your data, when you need to do change types across multiple columns, this button is a good option for you. The next step is using the format painter. So let's go back to this sample here and um, we'll hit close and load to go to the report view here. What I've done is I've created two cards that just counts the employees table and the orders table. Now, let's say we want to change the formatting uh, for this card. Let's say we want to uh, remove the border instead, show some shadows and add a different color as a background here and maybe change the color of uh, the category label over there. So now let's say we want to copy the formatting of the first card into this count of employees. Now, I reckon you simply just need to think about copy and pasting, um, but that messes up 
with the data that you already have in this card. So let's say maybe there are complex filters that you really don't want to touch and just want to uh, just copy and paste the formatting as you would, you know, with your keyboard functions. So an easy way to do it is using the format painter button, which is on the top left hand side here. Uh, what you'll just need to do is first select the visual that you want to copy the formatting from. Select the format painter that will change your cursor into this paintbrush icon and then the next thing that you need to do is just click on the visual that you want to paste the formatting to and voila you'll see it copies the formatting from the first visual to another so what's great about this is that it works with other types of visuals so things like bar charts tables and so on and i believe that excel also has the same button but i didn't really know that it existed so it really speeds things up especially when you need to make small small changes formatting changes um, and then you need to replicate it across different visuals in your report the next thing is the undo and redo buttons so if you've done something let's say and you wanted to undo it you can use the buttons on the top left hand side these two buttons here that will let you undo or redo any actions up to a certain point so if we click that it will undo that format painter that we've done or you can just simply use Control Z or Control Y to undo or redo the last tip that I can give you are the report themes so under view, you'll see a bunch of report themes that you can use. Um, and if we expand the button here, you'll have the ability to customize your current theme. And customizing your current theme allows you to customize more than just the colors. So uh, things like your texts, fonts, uh, font sizes, um, even to the visuals, like what backgrounds they should have as default, borders, uh, headers, uh, options like this and what you can do is you can even export these themes as a json file so your other colleagues can take advantage of the themes that you've created in their reports so i use themes often for the color defaults so under the names and colors you will see that you're able to customize the theme colors and the first couple of colors that you define here determines the default colors that your report charts and visuals create so when you create a new let's say bar chart automatically it will use the first couple of theme colors here if you try to add a legend on them and creating this default saves you time from having to reformat your visuals every single time you need to create a new visual in your report and that's really it for this video I hope these productivity tips will help you speed up your report development in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.